Hello, hello. I'm Carter Mason, CEO of JTS.TV, Just the Story. And I am very excited to be bringing you the first episode of The Digital Corner. Each week, we're going to be talking about issues uh, related to digital series, short films, other aspects of filmmaking, and just what's going on in that digital sphere. And uh, this week, we're talking about one of the topics that's actually a big reason that JTS.TV was ever started, the reason it became an idea, and that's ad-supported videos. Um, right now, there's a big problem, uh, besides the fact that ads just completely suck, they don't pay very much. And so when you're looking at the high quality videos, and I'm not talking about like the cat videos or what you can make a squirrel do and all of a sudden it goes you know, crazy and a million people have seen it. I'm talking about TV quality productions that tell a good story. Maybe they're short form. Most of our episodes, five to 15 minutes, uh, some less, some a little longer. Uh, these short form shows are TV quality. If somebody walks in while you're watching them, maybe on a Roku device, they think you're just watching TV. They may be curious, what's that show? Well, that type of quality doesn't come cheap. And I'm telling you that the ads, the fractions of pennies that are going to content creators, they do not pay for that type of programming. People are not making their money back. Even when they call in favors and, do, and shoot on a shoestring budget, most productions do not make their money back. There are exceptions to every rule. They are almost the exceptions that prove the rule. So everyone is actually starting to say it. You know, a year ago, a little bit over a year ago, when JTS opened for business, a lot of people were saying, oh, premium, why would you know pay for what you can get for free? Well, first off, it's not free if you're paying with your time. A 30-second ad to get to a four-minute video or shorter or sometimes one-minute video. Uh, I've seen commercials longer than the video on YouTube. If you don't click, like, simply, like, remove the ad or this ad can go away in five seconds. Uh, yeah, the ad is longer. Um, Google's starting to do subscription platforms or services roll out different features. Everybody's trying to figure it out because the higher end programming is not sustained by ad revenue. It's just not. The math isn't there. And so fans, do you really want to watch an ad anyway? Uh, and I'm not saying just subscribe to JTS. I'm saying that when a show or a creator maybe comes out with a new show and they're just trying to do something new like selling it for you know the season in one shot, you know, buy it. Support these creators if you really think they're doing good work, if they're doing art, because actually the ads pay so little, you're just annoyed by them, and the creator's getting almost nothing for it. Literally almost nothing. You could have a million views on a video, and it would not sustain five minutes of a true budget for TV quality production. It's just the money is not there. Um, and so one of the things I hate most about network television is wondering if the next season is going to come out, if a show is going to get canceled that I love. And so you are in effect canceling shows if you really like them. And the only revenue for them is, uh, ads and maybe doing a Kickstarter to fund the next season. You know, how many shows can we kickstart before... People just not really run out of money, but you know, it's you're asking for money all the time. And uh, don't get me wrong, I love the crowdfunding. Get behind an idea you love, give and donate. Absolutely. But the long term solution is to come up with sustainable models that will uh, keep these shows in production on their own without them begging for money <laughs> over and over again. Uh, and once again, not opposed to Kickstarter. In fact, I have a show that I've been asked to be the actor on that I'm going to help participate in a Kickstarter myself. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not a sustainable model. And I use that word sustainable a lot because I, I, I don't think that people fully grasp sometimes that their shows won't go on if there's not money there somehow. And when it comes down to it, if you're paying a small amount, like to a network and where we give half of our money back to the creators, so it's almost like a Kickstarter on steroids <laughs> because we're funding all of our shows at a higher level. The more subscriptions we get, uh, not only the more likely is it that we can keep those shows in production, but it's more likely that the rates and the quality even 
improve and people working on the projects like it's a meaningful job for them uh it's not just uh you know something that they're doing to sacrifice to get their foot in the door which is what some do or they really have an idea and they know that it's not going to get funded through the networks and so they do it themselves uh if you really love these projects find a way to support them either through kickstarter paying for digital downloads or subscribing to a network like JTS.TV. Um, because the money's not there with ads. And do you really want to watch the content with ads anyway? I don't. I hate ads. And probably, so do you. So, uh, anyway, I am very open to responding to questions. At Carter Mason. Uh, at JTS.TV also on Twitter. Uh, and you, our Facebook is facebook.com slash JTSTV. We're very responsive. Feel free to ask whatever. If there's a question or a topic you'd like me to cover on the digital corner, please uh, suggest it. Send it our way, and we'll do our best to address everything, uh, any questions that come in. Uh, sometimes we'll do it on air, and sometimes we'll do it through an email, but we'll respond to everybody that reaches out to us. So thanks for watching The Digital Corner. Once again, I'm Carter Mason, and thank you for watching.